up? Yeah. They're doing a vision board. This is something different. I never heard of this. This is something new. The great thing that I like about something new and improved, especially when women are involved. Now, this is a great situation here. I'm, I'm looking for Tamika Smith, is she? So I'm gonna bring her over here. I see her over there, so I'm gonna get her back. But this is a great organization. It's positive, and I know positive things don't usually exist these days. So it's, it's, it's a beautiful feeling, man, and I, I think that we all need to. I love what's going on here because I think the great thing about it is it's, it's for a good cause. And Have a Heart New York is a great organization. Now, what's even more impressive to me is that the fact that this is coming out of a borough that's pretty much forgotten everywhere we go. In Staten Island, New York. You have to give a lot of credit to what's going on here. So I want to bring some mood here and kind of show you all a little bit of the left and right of exactly what this is. It's a vision board. Actually something that's real different to me. You know, we're going we're gonna to bring some of the people in here and, and, and make it work. We have, we have to make sure the guests talk about what's going on here. Yeah, so, let's come here. so let's go. Let's go. Have a seat. Have a seat. Oh, okay. Have a seat. Okay. Have a seat. So... We are here at Have a Heart New York, right? That's what it is. Have a heart. You got a heart? I do. Okay, so she has a heart. Now, you, you are clearly here for this foundation to support it. What brings you here today to come here for this amazing vision board? Tell us what brings you here. Well, um, I came here to support uh, everyone, and I want to support, honestly, just a vision. Like, I believe everybody needs to draw out their vision and it's, that's really hard to do at first like no one wants to like just start and I believe in the power of God and manifestation yes yeah, same here amen I truly believe if you just write it down like if it was your goals it'll come to life and it's happened to me in my life right. so I know any, anything's possible is this, the, is this at the top of the year or because this is January so this is when we do our resolutions so is this a good time to write these things down or you do this pretty much every time, every day, every week, every month. Not as much as I'd like to, but honestly, it just I feel like lately it's just been a hard time and I think this is a good time to bring all like everyone together. Like I, I could already see like there's unity over here and I'm I support. Um, and lately I've been having a hard time like just to like get the vision out. So it's good that they're doing this cuz you I'm, I'm I'm with you on that. I I, yeah, I like think we yeah. I've been mentally just not okay lately. So like uh, it's just good that that we could come together and manifest our dreams together, you know? Do you think that this is what we've been missing because we're kind of all going through that same, like, when 2022 left, we was all like, damn, thank God. So we kind of all are connected to know we're feeling. Would you like to get more into that or is it just more of a thing that do you feel a mode of happiness now that you're here? Yes, it's, honestly, it's, um, I... I've, I feel happy that I'm here right now. Um, I'm honestly looking forward to hearing people's story more than anything and hearing their dreams and hopefully that's, I really believe that that's inspiring just hearing other people's story yeah. and other people's story needs to come out more, you know, especially nowadays one another, whether that's through art and creativity or whatever anyone's doing and honestly I think it's important to bring family together yes. more than anything and friends. And we all are family. Yeah, we need, to, we need to bring that back more. I just feel like it's not happening enough, and I think that's what's going on. I think it's because, maybe it's because everyone's on social media or, or just everyone's so focused on what they think they got to do for this society. Yes, but honestly, yes. sometimes we got to slow down and just write down um, and and heal first and just deal with what we're going through, you know? like. Well, young lady, she's hitting these switches here. <laughs> It's just, it's, yo, I feel like I'm venting right now, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Uh, it's true, though. Go ahead and vent, darling. This is, the, this is what we do because I think the more and more people see that you're venting, the more and more we stay connected that way. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's totally well. Let's, let's just say, what do you plan to see on your vision board today? This is something new to me because I've never seen a vision board in real yeah, life. So. I've, never, I've never seen, like, people right. come together and do right. this. This right. reminds me, honestly, of, like, what you know like in school what they used to do which is cool yes. like it's bringing childhood memories back so I, so I don't I don't feel that old there okay since so you just said the same thing so it was doing this in my school time as well <laughs> um, I honestly feel like I have a vision and I believe in like like putting it manifest you don't even, know how to make it yeah like write it down I like I, I would like catch myself speaking about it a lot but sometimes just like some it's like what you're feeling and passionate about. You you want, you know, others 
also to be passionate yes. and when it comes to like what they're passionate about because the more people are like just focused on their dreams I think that's honestly how we lift each other up as right, well right. like I think it's just hard to um, like personally like I, I just want I just want healing to happen, you know, like, I just want healing, like, honestly, people need to have no. healing right now, man. Yes, yes, yes. And it's just, it, it hurts that we don't see that enough, and if I could use creativity to help that, like, this right here, so, you know, together, yeah, Tamika and, and, you know, and everyone. It made me, uh, she inspired me because we know that the younger, the older is all going through this black, white, yellow, brown, tall, short, whatever you are. And you, you, we need that upliftment. Um, we could all relate to what she's talking about. So I'm going to try to find some some leniency and some motivation with these vision boards as well. I mean, I know this is a ladies night thing, but I'm going to learn this and we will be right back. I heard of this incredible organization. I have a heart in New York. And I didn't realize how relevant it is in 2023 to actually have a heart in New York, like for, for real. <laughs> so I had to be here for this. And as you know, I want to introduce you to a very prominent woman. Ladies and gentlemen, the founder, the creator of Have a Heart New York, Tamika Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause. Thank you so much. I've never been introduced like that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. You know, Tamika, it's, it's, it's a pleasure. I think one of the main things that I have to say that we just had a, a young woman that came here with a purpose. Like she really came here because, as you know, we're at a vision board. Yes. Now, is a vision board event a party? We right a party? A vision board party, yes. Okay. So it, it, it's it's self-explanatory. I never did a vision board, but then again, maybe I did. Maybe I was writing on my post-its. You manifest things in your head. Right? Yes. Okay, so that's you're getting. You know, a vision board is just you're putting it down on paper so you can see it every day you know what i mean now is this a daily thing or is this a, a new year's resolution because it is january you came out the right time a month yeah. for this but that's perfect timing so people can get there you know manifest what they want in the future do you want a better job do you want a bigger house do you want good health you know, you want to get married, ladies want that ring. Yeah, I know you do. That's you pray about it, right? So it's a different way of, you know, manifesting your dreams and your, your priorities. So you just put it, on, put it on the board, you look at it every day. You know, when you look at things, when it's in your face, you tend to want it more, go at it. You do. Now, it's funny you said that because... I tend to, um, I used to do this thing with post-its, and I, right, I used to post these things, the things that I wanted to do, and then, right, is that the same thing? Almost the same thing, but just think of a bigger post-it, like, <laughs> you know, like a 12 by 12 poster board. Oh, literally, literally. Yeah, and you just, it could be a wall in your house, you know, and you just write down little things that you want to achieve, short term, long term. On a daily basis. You know. Do I write down the things that I have done, though, that's not good? <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> I would recommend that. Because that's just proof of where you've been. Right. Oh, 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 where, right. Where I've been. Right. Where I've been. Right. Right. See that? I like how she said that. Now, do you actually accustom this to your lifestyle as well where you actually do some sort of a, a, a vision board on a level of today like we kind of write vision boards on our phones and say what we want to do for the day is that kind of is it still a bigger picture you could do that um that's like daily planning vision board is probably i would me personally i guess it's all about your preference but i like i would do mine for the year you could do it six months you could do it three months like if you have a weight loss goal or you know it's up to your i like the three months yeah three months i mean it puts the, the the fire under your ass right. so you could get shit done right yes, yes. right so it's just a reminder right. that you need to do this or you want to achieve that or you're going after that, you know? And I, and I think this is a better uh, way to do it now because apparently the, the New Year's resolution is kind of, kind of, it's kind of played out, right? The 1990s, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? So a vision board, I think, I mean, it's the new way. We want to do something different, something positive. 
um, this right here is very motivational. Yes, it is. Yes, I mean, what better way to put your your dreams, your your aspirations on a big board that you have to look at? So. You know, now, should I put this board in the house, like on the wall? I could do that? Yeah, every day. Okay. So you can manifest and make these things happen for yourself. You know what I mean? Now, the, the, the fact that there's women, a lot of women here, would you encourage this for men? Like, is it, is it, it, it I, I just want to hear from a, a, a lady from the perspective, can a man actually do this? Okay, because I wanted to make that clear, because there's, there's a lot of sisters in here, a lot of women here, so I want to make that clear. And you know, and men do it all the time. Right. They just, you know, maybe they privately put it in we their phone or diary or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but, I mean, men, they want, they want, they have aspirations, right? Want a bigger boat? Yeah, oh, yeah. You want a boat or do you want a yacht? You yeah. put that on. Damn start. I damn want that block playing all black. Right. <laughs> Want a better car, bigger house, a, a, a you know, a beautiful woman. Well, I mean, oh, oh, oh. I got one woman right now. <laughs> I mean, you know, you don't need, no, you don't need her. On yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, don't put that on the board, then, right? What you could do for her, right. put a bigger ring on there, get get upgrade her, put a bigger ring, bigger house. You did say upgrade. You know what? You you, you, you hear what she said, right? All right, so just in case when you watch it, yeah, okay, yeah, I, I think she's telling me that. Also, it doesn't have to be about, a vision board could be um, about your successes, yes. what you have accomplished. Yes. So you wake up in the morning, that gives you some, you know, yes. boost of self-esteem. Yes, I got my yes. diploma, I got this, yeah. Yes. It could, it's, see, see, this is, so fellas, you could actually do this as well. This is just not a thing that women could do, because guys, we tend to hide this, I'm not going to lie. We yeah. tend to do that. But I know y'all still do it. You want because you hum, you're human. You you want you want nice things. So to give me a big old oak tag paper when I get home, I'm gonna put this thing up. As, I swear to God, watch me. I'm dead serious. So I'm gonna take some heat. This what we show you the behind the scenes, and everybody's gonna break down the okay. experiences. Yes. Now the thing is, I want to also tell us basically before you you start. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. Before you, <laughs> before you, how did you come up with this concept? Just to say, you know what? Because you know, listen, the, the, the thing that we usually open up out in the island, we usually open up a little fish store, a fish spot, a little rib shack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And, I, and, and I'm guilty to all these things because I like to eat all these things as well. But, you know, it's very rare that we see us doing something not only positive, but also fun. Right. You know, we need, we need some happiness. So, so what was the inspiration for you to say, I want to do this? And you, you actually executed it. Well, I love having fun all the time. I love giving events and hosting. And then my, my girl, Tracy Brown. If you haven't been reading, you probably don't even know who she is because you probably didn't even open up a damn book since high school. Uh -huh. Hopefully that's not true. I mean, God damn. These niggas <laughs> are terrible with this, man. It's unbelievable. They say, but you, <laughs> but education still does matter. Reading is fundamental. And uh, Tracy Brown, ladies and gentlemen, um, I can't say any more than that. Give a round of applause. God damn. Thank you for having me. Yes. Appreciate being here. Look, she a little thing too, but y'all, you see, y'all don't. Huh. Tracy, I talk, I talk, I talk. Packages. Say that again, darling. Good things come in small packages. I'm trying to let you know. I tell you this, good. How tall are you? Four eleven. Four eleven. In, in my in my bare feet, but with my big girl shoes on, I'm about five feet. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, brothers, listen. I know you get intimidated when you see that woman of power, but Tracy, it is a pleasure. I can't say to meet you, but I done met you already, right? damn it. But, you know, they don't know that. <laughs> no, definitely good to see you yeah, again. Always a pleasure. a pleasure to see you yes, on the scene. Can you, can you explain to them these? Because I don't want to get, I don't want to get the tongue tied. I can't, let, let, look. All right, so I've written a total of 12 novels. Three of them, I've been blessed to have graced the bestsellers list, including my latest novel, Hold You Down, which is in stores everywhere books are sold, nationwide, worldwide. It's in Braille, audio book, paperback, hardcover. Get it everywhere books are sold. Now, all you fundamental people that don't like to read, I, I'm going to say this again. Read my lips. Read the book. Okay, it's Tracy Brown. I'm telling you right now. Oh, listen to it. And you know what's funny? Can you listen to this, like, where would they find out to listen to it, the people that don't know? Yeah, you can go on Audible, which if anybody who has an Amazon account, you can listen to it on Audible. Or, you know, if you have a Kindle Nook, there's so many different electronic editions, all different kind of ways that you can listen to it. And the narrator's a really good, really good narrator who I think did an excellent job. 
with this with this story. So now, you know, as far as having a narrator, there's actually somebody else because a lot of times they were we, we always think it's like a robot. That's really somebody reading. Uh, yeah, they send you uh, voices of actresses, and you get to pick which one you think really grasps. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's a that's a dope process. I'll be talking to you about that, but yeah. So the the, the, the greatest thing is. I need you to kind of educate us, because you know, us men, we, we, we have a tendency to have this short tension span. Okay. We forget a lot. Oh, yeah, we, we tend to forget a lot. So, the vision board, yes. you know, is this something that, because we're under the impression, because when I look at vision boards on YouTube, I find a lot of women are displacing yeah. it. Is that something that we're trying to, can you help us out? Yes, I think it's mainly because men men need women sometimes, or just, just the idea of sitting down and directing your thoughts. I think it's, men are always on the go. You guys seldom have time to sit and think, period. So then to sit, think, cut out pages in a magazine, you know, write words and all of that. I think that's why events like this are important because then you get to do it in an environment where you're having food and drink and you're mingling with people. So and then you get to set your intention for the year. Because once the vision board is done, it's done. You put that sucker up on the wall, you know. Keep it there on that wall. You want to keep it in your line of sight, you know. Keep it right there where you can see it. And then without even realizing it, you just start to attract the things that are there. So I think that's a wonderful tool. It's really effective very effective. It has been for me. For the last six years I've been doing it and I can tell you that I look back on them and I'm like, that happened, that happened, you know, in, in crazy ways. Yes. You know what, it's funny because I actually needed this little guidance because I used a erasable calendar. Okay. That's my vision board. <laughs> and lately it hasn't been a good thing because I, I, I'm like, I, I put the X's out and I'm like, I can't write all that stuff in there. So this is something because the last time I actually bought a piece of oak tag paper was probably in high school. Right. So should I purchase a, 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 an oak tag paper? In it? Oak tag paper, construction paper, it could be loose leaf paper, whatever you like. Just write, put up the things and set the intention. And the most important thing is to put it where you're going to see it every day. This is, this is impressive. So now, you, you, you and um, Tamika actually put this together. Yes. With, in conjunction with Have a Heart New York. Right. Which is very impressive. From the Basket Case NY, which is a great, great company. They do customized baskets for any occasion. Hall um, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine's Day is coming up. Instead of getting those generic roses and candy for your girl, hit up the Basket Case NYC, and she will make sure that your girl or guy has every single thing that he or she needs customized to their specifications. See, I like that because you know what? I've been shooting them. I got to get a little creative on Valentine's Day. So, yeah, we, we get tired, especially these flowers be dying all quick and all the above, and it's always. I don't want that. No. Uh, man, and I, I'm, I'm a last minute person, but okay, you have to let them know to get this kind of advanced. All right, should they start getting this for Valentine's Day now? Yeah. Is something because you know how we are as men. We, we try to do this last minute. Orders in now. Don't be last minute Larry or last minute Lucy. Start right now. Get your thoughts together. Does she like to smoke weed? She could put some Fonto paper in there, some backwards in there for her. So the good strain. You know what I'm saying? Does she like a little lingerie, a little lingerie? We could do a little Victoria's Secret. You know, put a little something nice together. Is she a reader? We could do a customized Tracy Brown basket for the reader in your life. Just whatever it is that you like. And I, and I appreciate that because, you know, you have been great for the community. You have inspired people to uh, create things. You take things off of our minds where we can be entertained and read a book. You know, shout out to all my brothers is locked down. And, you know, we appreciate that too. You're showing that love, you know. But now it's the fact of where do we go from here? Because this is a great thing to do. We just had a young lady that was telling us that she really wants to come here to find her way. Let, like she legit was like she's really so explain that to them let them know that's what we're here for absolutely and it's one of the things that I do with my nonprofit organization ladies first which is to mentor young girls in the community and offer them some guidance on how they can you know plot out your future because sometimes life happens to you but you can be intentional about what it is that you want to do and what you want to attract and you take specific steps to make that happen so between my organization ladies first Tamika's have a heart in why and organizations black Black-owned, women-owned companies like The Basket Case. Just being in a room like this alone is inspiring. I've been sitting at the table listening to women talking to one another about what last year looked like, what it is that they want to attract for this year, and it's just it's a wonderful, inspiring thing. So well, you know I'm just mean? glad to be a part. <laughs> <laughs> that damn drink's working already. God damn. 
But the, 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 the thing is, is that we, it's amazing when we as men, sometimes we don't know how to connect with women when they got it, they think, and they're on their role of doing things for them as well. But this is something that we all can relate to. And one of the things that we do here is in, in regards to the building our mindset, we want the woman to embrace that. Like, a lot of women are going through changes right now. Now, I tell y'all ladies about that black damn bozo, the white bozo, any bozo you deal with is a bozo. But it's great when women get together. To talk to you about her last yeah. Ooh, Oh, yeah, you said over. She's here? Yes. I'm gonna send you, you know, one thing that we do on our podcast and the show, we, we try to encourage women to see other women and be encouraged by that. You know what I'm saying? Because some of y'all see other women and get on some hating nonsense. You understand? We, we try to encourage you to love. And, and, and finally, we have something that we can laugh and keep things with. But also, sometimes you just want that little gift, you know? You want that gift. Sometimes, like, even a man, I, you know, send me something. Send me a little something. So, you know, I, 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 we can't forget y'all. We can't forget the men, you know? And you know, you know, when when we get a gift, a lot of guys we tend to love girl songs they call them. So dudes would be like, "Yeah, you ain't trying to play that." Then we we, we get in the car, we be blasting that shit all off, and we we sing along with it. <laughs> we sing along with it. So this is a beautiful thing, and um, you know, the the great thing is when I say gifts, sometimes we want to get that. I don't think I ever got a basket before. Oh really? Really? I I don't think I ever received a basket. I don't remember that. I, I, I don't recall that. Because in this case, somebody's like, yeah, I, I gave you a damn basket. But this is, a, this is a woman that creates these incredible baskets. And, you know, ladies, men want baskets. Men want these things. They don't, let them, they don't want to tell you that they want these things on Valentine's. They want them on a Friday or Saturday. Give us a little basket. Put some little things in there. And we like a gift. You know, yeah. personalize it. They know what you like. You know, they can get it customized, they can call me and I help them out. Anything? Yep, anything. For anyone, any age, any occasion, we got you. Now, I know a lot of fellas are like, you know, well, what, what do I put in there? Can I, if he's a smoker, could he put something in there? If Oh, we have bomb baskets for our smokers and it comes with all kind of edibles, flour, whatever you want. It can have, um, like, the shirts that say, you know, raw or, you know, different. Yeah. Um, I'm a little tipsy, so. Um, I'm right with you, darling. Don't you, so you like, got company here. What kind of paraphernalia can go in the basket? Anything that you want. We have, um, if you go on our Instagram page, you can get an idea. Wait, tell, tell them what the Instagram page is. It's the basket case NYC. It's at the basket case NYC. Oh, hey, I like that name. How the hell did you go? <laughs> <laughs> Cause I know a few basket cases myself personally, so, so I, what, what inspired you to, to get that name? Was it a bozo or was it was a situation that you just go <laughs> explain to? To be honest, um, I told because I did baskets for my family for years, you know, all occasions, especially Easter for the children. And um, shout out to all the kids. Yes, I told my sister I was going to start a basket business. And right off, she said, you should call it the basket case. Oh, so, so to be good thought that? She thinks I'm a basket God case. damn, I tell you, sisterly love. <laughs> and I loved it, and it just, I went with it. So, so, you know. so, so, so she, she thinks she, but you know, y'all, y'all close though. Yes, we're close. And of course she doesn't think I'm crazy, but, or I, I don't even like using that word, but. Yeah, because some people take that to right. offense, but unfortunately right. the way we're living in this world today. Exactly. I'm also a mental health advocate, so I, I don't like to use that word. Okay, that's but important. Right. She was, you know, being humorous, and it, it went because the basket case is not, it's like we took the, you know, the stigma away from the word. Kind of made it fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're right. So it's like I'm on the case for your basket. I like that. I like that. You know what I mean? Like, you tell me what you need, I'm on the case. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's, it's, it's incredible, especially when you got beautiful sisters doing things. You know what I'm saying? These cheekbones ain't fake either, okay? They real, okay? You understand that. So, <laughs> to be creative like that and, and back that up. And that's great because so many siblings these days, they're not getting along. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, to see that you, you, you endured your sister, you're here with her. You know, you, you, you're supporting her, she supports you. You know, how, how do you guys keep that going? 
you know, for the people that's out here struggling, because nobody speaks to their brothers and sisters, I cut this one off. You know, can these baskets bring that love? Like, can we, would you suggest to send a basket to a sibling or somebody that may, I think that's a great idea. Of course, that would be very nice, and I'm sure they would appreciate it, because it's like you thought of them, especially if you personalize it for them, then yeah, that's special. You know, I, I, I want to send a shout out, because there's a, and you know who I'm talking about, but there's a brother that I think that could use that from his brother. And I'm going to actually um, take him up on that. I said, you know, because I think that's something that most men, we're afraid to say that we need. Right. You know, because women appreciate all those little things like that, but men do too. So, right. you know, the fact that we can join the basket case, I love that name. That shit. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it also gives a whim now to, to give a smile to something because... There's so much going on in this world that we're dealing with. We all, listen, everybody in here is dealing with something. Exactly. Right now. Am I lying? Everyone. Right now. I'm okay. I'm going to my mom who passed away. You know, we're going to, this is what it is every day, you know. So, but yes, everyone is dealing with something. And, and, I'm, and I'm sorry. I'm very, very, very sorry for that because uh, I could not even imagine. Right. A lot of people lost loved ones and that's why yes. it's important to check on them. Yes. You know, and just your people in general, you know, because people, they won't always tell you when they need you or they need help, but you can we tell. always say everything is okay. Yeah, you can tell. If they're really your people you and you're close it. with them, you can tell. And, well, that's when, the and when you ask them, are they okay? If they say, I'm okay, I'm all right, you say, no, really. Right, Re right, right, really, right, right. I want to know if you're okay, yes. you know? And they'll tell you. Right, because sometimes they think it's just a question that we all just... You know, how you doing, how you doing? It's just, it's not really any meaning in it for some people. You, you said to go a little deeper. Exactly. Yeah, go a little like, deeper. I really mean it when I ask you, how you doing? You you can see that sincerity from you. And you know, I, listen, I've been I've been in your position um, in 2019. I just went through this recently because we just lost a friend that we grew up with. Recently, I'm talking like three days ago. Wow. Yeah, a childhood friend. And um, you know, uh, yep. I heard about it. You know Darren? Yeah, he used to work for my son's father. Yeah. My yeah. Oh. Walking door. Yes, he was. Yeah, and my friend when she sent me the picture, cause I'm like I don't know who, who you're talking about. She sent me the picture. I'm like, whoa, Darren. Oh. So, you know. Yeah, shout out to Darren. That's right. When he had walking dogs in the, the store on the car. Oh my yeah. gosh. Was such a nice guy, Darren. I forgot all about that. Wow, I forgot all. About... So that was a shock. Genuine know? brother, right? God. Really sad. That one hit home because I think it's like, all right, um, I'm starting to see these losses now as a gain, in a weird way because, all right, uh, that one day I got together with three friends. Okay. It brought us back together. Awesome. Yes, because. My friend here as well. She lost her mom the day after. Two days after we lost my mom, and we hadn't really hung out since we were in junior high. But she reached out, and like we've been there for each other since. Like every day, we check on each other. You know, we do things to keep each other, you know, busy. She talks about you all the time. Too. Oh yeah, you know my friend. <laughs> I forgot. Yes, yes. So we're going through this together, and I love her. She's such a sweetheart. Hey, wait, you said how many days apart? Two days. I didn't know that. Yeah, two days. Yeah, it's crazy. You, you know, I, I look at these things as gains in a way because, like I said, the first thing that happened to me, I just said, okay, enough is enough. Like, it's too much It's too much premature situations happening. I know people get to where they got to go, but it's just like, come on now, the good? So now it's become a thing where we got to keep our minds busy. We have to be involved, be involved with each other. As you're speaking, everything is about love, exactly. expressing love, right. and that's something that we need to do. I mean, right. no, it, yes. Because right, it's not enough. Let me ask you a question. Would you block somebody, would you block a phone call from somebody knowing that you went through what you went through? Would you block a, would you block a, call, a, a call from a friend? It's like, let's just say y'all had a little disagreement. You're just like, ah, oh, F you, F you too. No. No, I, I don't I don't know why people do that. They I mean I understand if it's toxic, if they did you, you know, dirty, but just a disagreement, you know, like and people ghost people with no problem. Even even family. You know what I mean? You'd be like, Wow. So I don't know. it's like I don't know what it is with this generation. Well you know what? See Darren's death, I took off two blocks. 
Yep, I did because I had to realize it's sick. Yeah, yeah, because God forbid. Short. What you were not speaking about probably was so. Uh, was, you know, uh, you know, he, he dating this one girl that I know he could do better. She's bringing him down. It's it's, it's painful. Okay. It's painful. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and honestly, when it, we don't want to send him a basket over there. You feel me? I don't even want her to see that. But I want him to see it. And you know, it's a, these are the things I'm thinking about. So now I'm starting to realize there was a time when I was giving the people, aunts and uncles that, you know, had perished. But every Valentine's Day I was giving to them. And I was sending a little card. Even if it was something, I would always say, if you send a card, never never have anything in it. Always put something in it. I don't care if it's five dollars. So when they perished, I stopped doing it. And I noticed that I wasn't as giving. And, and the, the one thing is, in, in conjunction with having a heart, <laughs> clearly, it, uh, it, it makes me even see things a little different and clearer right now. So you bringing this love of knowing that you're still continuing to show the love even after what you went through. Do you feel that was a calling as well? Yeah, because my mother, she was such a beautiful soul that she lit up every room. Like she touched so many people. And you know, that's all they kept talking about. And I'm like, you know what? I have to leave a legacy like my mother, a legacy of love and peace, because that's what she that's did. What she, and she would have wanted. Yes, and that's what my intentions are as well. Definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, ain't too many times you're going to see me choke up on here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it strong. Because, <laughs> you know, and, and, and I, I, I'm so happy that you um, you broke this down. Um, of course, you'll see in the description. Make sure you follow her on Instagram. Put your orders in and let them know that you heard it here on The Billionaire Mindset. And um, we appreciate you, sister. And I would love to do this again. You have a great personality um, and, and very genuine, you know what I'm saying? But, I, I mean, I, everybody has sat down here. I haven't felt to nobody where I was like, God damn. You know, not yet. <laughs> but everybody been good. And, um, you know, this, this is a great thing. This is what it's supposed to be. You know, and, you know, there's other family members. I hope you guys can also see as far as having siblings, how important that is. You don't want to wait till something happens. Y'all had your connection. Y'all was already close. Oh man. We don't let that stop us from realizing what's important and that's family, you know, and relationships. You gotta do the work, you gotta communicate. People don't wanna communicate and that's why they can't really resolve a lot of issues. I don't know. It's ego, pride, you know, some people have anger issues. It's a lot of different reasons, but you know, when you love your family and you love you know, that's what's most important because life is so short like if you stop speaking to them you don't know if you're gonna see them again you know what i mean so it's important and why wait to that to happen exactly exactly so we, we you know spread the love that's right this is this god is speaking through you to speak to me so that's what, that's what he does speaks to his children my dad my dad used to yes. say that all the time he said that's you right you don't talk you gotta listen you gotta listen that's right ladies and gentlemen we appreciate y'all much love, support this woman, support her, and um, let me just let me just grab my throat before, you know what I'm saying? Get this little drink in it, man. <laughs> we appreciate y'all. little drink, I'm ready. <laughs> so no, this is a beautiful decor. Um, they have this nice, um, I, is that a fireplace? What is that? It's like a, yeah, like a fire pit with like fire. charcoal balls and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Fire pit, and I said fire pit, I know y'all be like, God damn, Nate, what's wrong with you? It's fireplace, I want to sit outside. So, <laughs> so um, you know, we looked around, it's a beautiful thing in here. And so, it's a lot of love because um, vision boards for a man is uh, something that more men need to do. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of us have a hard time because you know even when we listen to our little TLC songs, we look around and make sure nobody listening, and we'd be like, I don't want no scrub, scrub it. <laughs> so you know, then we get out the car, be like, I don't listen to that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's, it's hard for us, man. Right. So you, it's a great it's a great thing. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to uh, this is Cheyenne Cheyenne Smith. Yeah. This is the daughter of Tamika Smith, and uh, Tamika Smith is the founder of Have a Heart. Right, have a heart in New York. No, we could have a heart in New South Carolina and Georgia too. But goddamn, it's about here. Goddamn, it's right here. Shit, right. You know, I want Cheyenne to kind of break down exactly how did you, how did you come in and support this with moms like your moms? This is pretty lit. You're a young woman, so what made it cool to you? 
Um, just helping kids. Like me, myself, I like to help kids. I'm actually a parent right now for kids on the autism spectrum. So helping people has always been in our family. Like we just like to give and help. So when my mom brought up the idea to start Have a Heart, I was completely on board. Like she, I called myself the CEO Junior because. Uh, see, see that, see that support CEO Junior. Okay, <laughs> don't get it after. <laughs> Okay, that's the support right there. But go ahead, just in case when moms be getting that fifty million off this damn this organization, we'll grow. God damn, okay, we put it. Man, like, but yeah, it's just like it's really dope. We did um, we did a, a Halloween haunted house for the kids. We did. Where, where was that? Where was that? At um, PS fifty seven on Staten Island. It's in Park Hill. Park Hill neighborhood. I, I haven't. I haven't got scared yet in a haunted house because I'm still waiting to because I I, I want to get scared in a haunted house. You gotta go to Blood Manor. Where is that at? It's in the city. I don't know what street. I think it's Midtown. So it's legit. Like I mean, you. you we I, I, I want to get there. scared. They have um, a glow in the dark week that they do where they like black out the whole haunted house and they give you a glow stick and that's all you got to navigate you through the haunted house. It's real lit. That is fire. Okay, F serious. Okay, cause I need to do something. Cause right now we're struggling in this city. Things are a little slow. And, and, and knowing that we could uh, get together, have organizations, because this is a great thing. Even as a woman, we, 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 we encourage the woman to do more because this is a woman's time. You're a minority times two. You do know that, right? Okay, so the fact that you're a minority times two, you're using your abilities, you know, and, and, and of course, it's something positive now because I know some people get drawn with the way positive, but from a young woman, do, 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 do people in your age sector hear positive and be like, oh man, is this going to be church? <laughs> no, definitely not. I feel like it's gotten, at least in my age bracket, like 97, you know, like it's like we just appreciate what's going on now. Like all the little TikTok kids now, that's not me. It used okay. to be like oh, when okay. Vine was it. At least she confirmed that, God <laughs> Right. <laughs> so hold on. In March of 2020, you wasn't doing none of the TikTok oh, videos. Definitely, okay. definitely. But I'm not like. I, I did miss out on that. With it and oh, doing okay. all the dances, I'm not active. Okay. I just like to do the funny stuff. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on. In regards to your chair in this in this mode of the the, the the how could this be more appealing to the people you're of your age or younger? You know, I've seen that y'all did some concerts and things in the past. Um, baseball game too. We had a softball game. We did a talent show. Um, we're doing this now, the Vision Board, which I feel like is in right now. You know, like it's everybody's doing it. Everybody wants to manifest. Y'all put me on to this, by the way. I was gonna let you know. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I heard it, but I didn't really know it until because before I came, I was like, let me check it out on YouTube a little bit. Then I was like, oh, okay, because I didn't want to come in that totally just not know anything. But y'all, this is the first Vision Board I'm part of. It's like new for 2023. It's manifestations, what you want for your life. Every everybody was stuck in the house. Everybody was sick. You know, 2020. 2021 so now it's time to really get the ball moving on your life how did you deal with that when you were in the house as far as the, the rough times how did you deal with that it definitely was rough because I was in the middle of my senior year of college so when we went remote it was extremely difficult to you know stay on task um, my mom built a shed in the backyard she's a Besides have a heart, she's a woman of many, many, many things. Yo, shout to, to Tamika, don't be played. Are you serious? Yeah, she she built it? A she shed in the back. She painted it pink. She was in there for a few nights. I went in there, did my classes oh, in there. So, so it was it was beneficial. She was able to have the Wi-Fi connected on? Exactly. Yeah, I would have did that. Exactly. She had a sink in there going, a little room for a little bed situation. So it was definitely that very nice. Dope. So y'all y'all made it, y'all were creative with this. So now, obviously, okay, but did you guys... I forgot to ask one. Was this created in 2020? Was it? I think, yes, it was because during, it was the summer before COVID hit. Yes, because when I seen the softball game, that was three years ago. Yes. And it was raining. Yes, yes. I mean, y'all was in there still playing. Mm-hmm. We was the cheerleaders on the side. It's still on YouTube. There's actually a video on YouTube, Have a Heart, yeah. and why softball game versus the water team. Shout out to the water team. Shout out to the water team. I see, I see your lounge. Goddamn. I, I see you. Boom, boom, boom. I see you, nigga. Goddamn. <laughs>
<laughs> no, he cracks me up. But it was definitely lit. The softball game we got, um, we had raffles there. Somebody won a TV. Somebody won uh, tickets in the coaches section to the Giants game, which they get a whole free buffet. I've been to that a couple times. If you want to see me at that, you can check that out on my YouTube page, Shy's Time. Me and my mom went to a Giants game. Wait, hold on. You got a YouTube channel? I do. It's not active right now. I, I kind of fell off since I'm on the podcast and I'm working and doing all of that. But Shout out to the podcast. It was pretty yeah. dope. I'm wanting good times on you. Well, I, she was there when I came into the last show. That was the one with Milk and um. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I actually had the flu at that time. Yeah, I'm, I'm better now. Just in yeah, case yeah. anybody. Well, I, sh I shared the video on my video, mm -hmm. so I'll share this one later on tonight, so y'all can see. God damn, it was amazing. Yeah. So now the, the the main goal is now we're all going through changes. Yeah. Everybody here is dealing with something. Um, we also expressed I mean, my condolences also to your your family, and um. You know, but now it's like even you it being a young woman, we're not gonna say your age, that's not important to people, but you're young. How do you tend to deal with this now that you have this vision board? Is it going to be a big board in your house? Is it going to be a, a small board here? What kind of board are you going to set up for Cheyenne? Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm definitely going to try to manifest my life for the next five years. Like where I want to be in life. Look at this. Even the young people starting to manifest their life. What? Yeah, definitely. Shit, you know what we would do to keep back to our age? But go ahead. <laughs> No, definitely. I just, I have goals and I have ambitions and I have dreams that I just want to follow. And the world is bigger than Staten Island. So I'm just trying to get out there. I think that's something that every Staten Island needs to understand. The world is bigger than Staten Island. I used to always tell people, I'm a New Yorker first. Right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm in New York. I probably know your borough better than you know it. <laughs> but the reality is, I do love my borough. I have a special love for Staten Island because. Um, we like the fact that it's kind of off the map to some degree. You know what I mean? I, mean, I know y'all want to see somebody get murdered out here in order to, to get on the map, but we cool. You know, we, we, we like our mix. We like the fact that it, the, the Italians run it, but we cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Long nobody call us the N word, we all right. Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, you know, it's right in front okay. of, right behind Tracy. With the black one standing up, yeah. Oh, that's actually my cousin's girlfriend. Okay, your cousin's girlfriend. Okay, she came here first. She interviewed first, and she literally was like, listen, yo, yo, like, I was like, are you looking for a co-host here? She's a, so it wasn't just me, right? I was like, she is? Just on interviews, like, she's just, like, I first met her, we were at um, my brother's video shoot premiere uh, with Jadakiss, and... Uh, Yes. Yeah, power, yeah. His uh, fifth power. Sh salute to Shaquan, god damn. Salute to him. <laughs> um, but yeah, I first met her and she was like, you're, you just, she was reading me, like, you're just nice. Like, I could just feel your aura. And I just felt her. Like, she's just a dope individual. She, she, oh, oh, hell, hold on, hold on now. You got to join here, god damn. You ain't gonna just, no, no, come over here. Come over here, Tracy. Don't you dare go too far. Come over here. Come over here. Sit down. Squeeze up in here. Matter of fact, you now, now that's all. Let's listen. We we, we just we, we just want to be let it be known that it's amazing. Now, these women here are not involved in just this this incredible extravaganza with Have a Heart in New York. They're also involved in the podcast as well. And um, you know, it's, it's they, they talk about some real great topics, man. I got damn, but you know, it's it's I'm gonna let them tell you their, themselves because you know she has to look because you know, Tracy don't stay in one spot for long. <laughs> that's so true. But you can check Fine Wine and Good Times on YouTube. We are every two weeks at twice a month. You'll see episodes featuring myself, my wonderful co-host here, Shy, and Tamika. We have some wonderful guests. We have a good time. Definitely we talk drink about the wine. Yes, we drink the good stuff. We you talk about the best stuff. things we <laughs> ate this week. Right. We are like taste makers. We let you know where you want to go, what you want to do, and what you need to be sipping on. Yes. So tune in and follow us on all social media platforms. Every other Friday. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. I tell you, I, I tell you right now, um, Smoke has some amazing things going on here. He like to lay low, but I'm gonna get him on his camera. I'm go get him now. Yeah, go get him over here. Hey, Smoke, oh, hey, hey, buddy, come over here for a minute. Yeah, so it's a great thing that you know, and, and it's great because we see the the, the younger and the older. And what, what I like about you, you're around. Like, it's not just like, oh, we're just gonna be with the kids. Well, not, you're not a kid, but you know what I mean. I you're there with the age groups and the maturity. You know, I've seen you in there really, you know what I mean? You, you, you're able to identify and adapt, and that's just dope. So that same attitude I can see that you're bringing into the foundation as well. And we appreciate this. So listen, hold on, hold on, brother. We, we get sick and tired of this man ducking the camera over and over and over again. 
This, this, but he's shy. Hold on, hold on. Listen, don't. Cyan's here. Sit, come, come, listen, listen. We live, man. It's a live stream. Sit down. Come over here. Come over here. We, this is a, it's a live stream. We doing live. You want to feel even comfortable? You want Cheyenne to interview? You want Cheyenne to interview this man? We'll right do there. it live. Talk, come on, Smoke. Talk, what do you want me to do? Talk to this man and find out how come you've never been on the camera in your life? Why haven't you been on the camera? Why are you always behind the camera? That's just my personality. I like the... I, I have fun by, behind the scenes. I mean, it's good. Years, like, God damn, it's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it is a long time, but I, that's where I'm comfortable. Right. You know, and he's I'm, good at it. You know, I'm, you know, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm not photogenic. I'm not that. I'm, I'm good. No, we beg the differ. We beg the differ. No, but I'm good though. Yeah, I'm if, good. If, like if you was a photogenic, I would have had you on the camera. If I was a personality, then I would be. You know that 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 was my thing. That was never really my thing. Maybe I was just been shy and bashful my whole life. I, I think shy. Maybe shy it's shy. Think shy. Yeah, I it's think shy so. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, so I. Think now, shy. you know, it, it's a backstory behind that, right? Like I never really was. Um, I don't know. I can't really say. Like I never really. I had low self-esteem growing up, and I think it trickled into an adulthood, right? You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm good, though. I'm, I, I learned to navigate in that space, and I mastered that space. I don't have to be... And then, you know, another thing is... is, 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 is um, I don't like people. <laughs> People are disappoint you. You know, they, they put on a different face. You, you know, it's like you get to know them, and then they change yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd rather just stay in my space. You still make a so, good example of picking great people, you know what I mean? Because that attitude that you have actually works because, I mean, y'all all together. So everybody here is on that wave, obviously. So it works. You know, a lot of things like, you know, everybody learns to navigate in their own space in life. Like I'm, I'm older, so I, I kind of like experiment and try a few different things. Where I'm comfortable at is like, um, it's not really a good space, but it's, it's a safe space for me. It's like zero expectations, zero disappointments. Yeah. So I don't expect nothing. So I'm really never disappointed. I'm good. Like, so I'm good. Like, you know. So, I, yeah. No, I was going to say, I expect people to be people. You know, I accept people for who they are. And, you know, I'm good, though. You know, like, I, I'm, I don't try to fit in. I'm just a genuine person yeah so like if we mesh we mesh if we don't mesh then i'm i'm good like i listen to my instincts if i if i if i feel somebody's vibe and they're a good person then i'm good with them you know what i mean and if i don't feel your vibe then i'm, I'm over here i'm in the cut like i'm good like you know, stay away from me that's what i'm blessed with i'm really blessed you know god really blessed me with a lot of different senses so where like if i feel somebody's energy then I'm 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 locked in with it. Like you know, I'm I'm not like a, um like when I was growing up, when I um was younger, like I'm not I didn't have that uh like LL Cool J like you know you know you got that pretty boy thing. I wasn't Flavor Flav either. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I wasn't LL Cool J. But a lot of times it's like so. You know, I wasn't an athlete. I wasn't any of those popular titles. So, you know, nobody really gravitated towards me. So if anybody kind of like liked me, they had to have liked me for me. Yeah, they did though. You know. You, you, you did this before her time, but you, you had um, an ability where you was a trendsetter. And, um, you know, sometimes you have to give people their flowers when they're here. You had that because I see it. You know what I'm saying? And it's, if I seen it, and you had to see it. You probably didn't see it, but I seen it. So others that didn't give you that, those were the ones that was jealous. You understand? Because they're just going to take it and run with it. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel that you um you played a big impact on trend-setting things that you didn't even realize you did. I don't know. You know, I just was me. You know, I don't really know. You know, I, don't, I just... He really, he, he really does it, though. Yeah. I just I, I live life like I just I really just want to be around genuine people but I know in this world like if you look at the I, I, you know if you treat life like a mathematical equation right and they say that like you say you know how people be like everybody can't be wrong but that's not true right. 
the majority of people, 90% of the people are wrong. Maybe 95%. No, if you want to go into economic and financial, like, you got 10%, 10% of the world population, 10% control 90%. So 10% of the people control 90% of the world's wealth. That's an economic fact. Well, that's why they say 10% Temp of the people are billionaires. Right. So that, and they control 90% of the world's wealth. So if that 10% makes a move, the 90% follows. So if you break that down onto a lower scale, can 90% of the people be wrong? You're right. They could be wrong. And that's how I move. So I'm like, all right, everybody, you know, everybody are pretty much followers and they follow the 10%. You know, sometimes we get into it. Right, right, right. They drop a new iPhone. It's only a few people that drop the iPhone. You only got a few phone carriers. But then everybody goes and gets it. You either got an iPhone or Android. So, you know, sometimes we jump into that 90% of it. If you're on a highway and you see, you're on a four-lane highway, right? And you see three lanes clogged. But you see one lane is, is there's nobody in it. There's nobody going, right? And everybody's like, damn, you know, um... There must be construction, there must right, be a dead end, what's going on, on in that lane. Right. But the moment one person goes and starts to go, everybody starts to follow. That is true. That is so true. it's like... That happened to me yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yes. So, you know, I, I just move like that with people. So I'm like, you know, I don't know. Do you, do you deal with depression? I used to. I, I, um, I'm actually in therapy right now, and it's actually helped me. And I recommend therapy a lot, especially for the black community, especially for black men. I used to knock it. I used to knock it. Yeah. I used to knock it only because I feel that the greatest therapy is to talk. Mm -hmm. But it works. You, you feel I feel like it's good to talk, but it's better to talk to somebody who doesn't know you at all, so they have no biases. That's, I'm going to get back to the vision board. Um, we good? I'm gonna get back to the vision board. <laughs> hey man, you just did a classic move. Yeah, I'm gonna do mine too, but we, yes. We gotta make sure moms takes us out of here. Right? Definitely. Um, just get moms over here quick because we have to have her take out. I know some people, uh, therapy is like a stigma behind it. I did graduate with my psychology degree, so I have experience with people who don't really want to open up but I do feel like your life can change like I took a temperament assessment which is like an assessment about your behaviors and I found out why I do things and it's insane how you're just developed by a, a childhood trauma or some shit that you thought you forgot it. I it. and it's like you need to let that out and nobody's gonna know that except for a trained professional exactly so a good listener you said for somebody that doesn't know you Yes, definitely. Because then it's like they don't have any, they can't judge you. you. Yeah, definitely. And you can be honest, I feel like, because they don't know you. What are they going to do? They can't tell nobody it's HIPAA violation, so unless you're trying to oh, kill yourself. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what if a person that gave up? What would you have to say to somebody that gave up? Get your temperament done. And even if you don't want to go to therapy, get your temperament done, just so you can understand why shit happens. Because you're going to be like, damn, I did get mad that one time, and this is why. Ladies and gentlemen, this is more real than it. Tell mom she got to come take this. She got to take us out of here. All right. Janelle, can you get my mom? But I actually, um, I start, like we said, you asked me if I was depressed. I was. Um, my grandmother passed away. It was a lot going on. Yeah, and um, I, it was a chance for me to really express myself because, you know, like in the black community especially, we don't talk. And it's like you're, you're soft if you're a man and you cry. And that's whack to me. So I think mm, it's good. Like black men who do that, that's very good because a lot of black men, they just stop crying. You being a little girl, stuff like that. So. Come on now, uh, come on now, come on now. We, we got we, we got mother and daughter side by side. Or... All right, I got two minutes. Yeah, yeah I want to do my vision board too. We're just closing it out. Yeah, we're we, we, we closing it out because we have to, actually I have to do a vision board. Yes, we need the men to do the vision board. I'm curious to know what's going to be on yours. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be no pretty cars, deep for the be on mine. Like cars that. and muscles. <laughs> 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 yeah, cause it's well, you know that's that's the thing too. I gotta make sure I don't buy another car this year. That's one thing I gotta put on the visual. Not that's to buy, problem. not to, yeah. But um, you know, it's um, this is the first year I haven't did a resolution. And I'm happy about that. Um, I haven't did any resolution because health was my main thing. That's my word. I didn't write this. I, I mean, I, I I promise you, I didn't write anything down. So this is gonna be pretty interesting because I really don't even know what I'm gonna put on there. But I do know. Does that make sense? Yeah. But um, 
Yeah, that's it's pretty challenging. That's uh, I'm looking forward to doing this. A lot of um, crafts over there. Just me how it works. It's Tell me how it works for me so I can. Well, you pick a magazine. You want me to do? You go ahead. No, you no, 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 no. Okay. okay. No. CEO Junior. <laughs> um, so you pick a magazine, and you know you 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 basically cut out what you want for yourself. There's houses. There's planes. There's cars. There's shoes, bags, different things. And if you don't see anything really that you can relate to, you can cut out the letters and place the letters into different words and stuff. Or you can write it. Yes, decorate. We got markers and glue and pens and all that good stuff. Anything? So anything that I cut out there is what I want. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you want to manifest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And the markers are there for us to write as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Just to be creative, you know. Just be creative. Let your arts and crafts flow. <laughs> Which I haven't did since the third grade, but God damn. It's That's therapeutic. Today, God it is therapeutic. I, a lot. The ladies are enjoying themselves over there. There are a lot of nice and. Um, um, inspirational vision boards over there that I didn't think of myself. Yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of yeah, it's nice. I like I like this event. This is nice. This is, well, this is, this is, I, I tell you, I told your daughter. I said this is just great to see. It's great to see mother and daughter just have a great relationship like this because there's so much of a. I never saw. I would see a time where all of us are going through something. So to see this. It's just incredible. The support is just great. You got your son here representing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think he is doing a vision board. Doing okay. It? Yeah. All right, so I don't feel that bad. I was going to do it anyway, though. <laughs> <laughs> but he's the first guy to do it? No. Smoke is doing Smoke one. Smoke is the first. Smoke's in one. Yeah, yeah. It's a few gentlemen in here. Yeah. Well, this is a great thing. We uh, we, we appreciate it. I mean, Cheyenne and Tamika, I mean, it is what it is, man. I, we're going to do this again. Yes. And, uh, yes. Just get used to seeing them. I mean, I, that's all I can say. Fine Wine and Good Times podcast on YouTube. All the episodes. Yes, every other Friday. You know, right now. The drunken ones. <laughs> the drunken ones. We do drink wine, so come get I'm your gonna, wine I'm, on. I'm going to pull up with y'all. Okay, yes. I'm going to pull up. You got to. You like I, was, wine? I was there. Shit, do I. Okay. So we'll be I didn't there. have any wine that day, though, because we I was sitting in the cut watching the behind it's the okay. scenes. But, um, yeah. No, no, I'm definitely pulling up on the next one. Because I was there for that first one when you were there, the yes. was six. So I'll, I'll be there. Yes. And we're going to rap. So it's going to be real dope. Yes. And um, I appreciate y'all. Oh! Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. What's up? Yeah. I think a lot of us have a hard time. Because, you know, even when we listen to our little TLC songs, we look around and make sure nobody listening. And we'd be like, I don't want no scrub, scrub it. <laughs> So, you know, then we got the car back, like, I'll listen to that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's, it's hard for us, man. Right. So, you, it's a great, it's a great thing. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to, uh, this is Cheyenne, Cheyenne Smith. Yeah. This is the daughter of Tamika Smith. And uh, Tamika Smith is the founder of Have a Heart. Right, have a heart in New York. Now, we could have a heart in New South Carolina and Georgia too, but goddamn, it's about here. Goddamn, it's right here. Shit, right here. But there's a couple of things happening out here. There is, and um, you know, I want Cheyenne to kind of break down exactly how did you, how did you come in and support this with moms like your moms? This is pretty lit. You're a young woman, so what made it cool to you? Um, just helping kids, like me, myself, I like to help kids. I'm actually a parent right now for kids on the autism spectrum. So helping people has always been in our family. Like we just like to give and help. So when my mom brought up the idea to start Have a Heart, I was completely on board. Like she, I called myself the CEO Junior because. I see, see that, see that support CEO Junior, okay? <laughs> Don't get it after. up. <laughs> Okay, that's the support right there. But go ahead, just in case when moms be getting that fifty million off this damn this organization, it will grow. God damn. Okay, we put it. Man, like, but yeah, it's just like it's really dope. We did um, we did a, a Halloween haunted house for the kids. We did. Turkey where, where was that? Where was that? At um, PS fifty seven on Staten Island. It's in Park Hill. Park Hill neighborhood. I, I haven't. I haven't got scared yet in a haunted house because I'm still waiting to because I I, I want to get scared in a haunted house. You gotta go to Blood Manor. Where is that at? It's in the city. I don't know what street. I think it's Midtown. So it's legit. Like I mean, you. you we I, I want to get there. scared. They have um, a glow in the dark week that they do where they like black out the whole haunted house and they give you a glow stick and that's all you got to navigate you through the haunted house. 
It's real lit. That is fire. Okay, F serious? Okay, because I need to do something. Because right now, we're struggling in this city. Things are a little slow. And, and, and knowing that we could uh, get together, have organizations, because this is a great thing, even as a woman. You know, I, I, I inspire a lot of women that follow me. And the reason for that is, you know, we, we have a movement called Beware of the Bozo. That's that bum ass nigga that just want to mess up everything. <laughs> <laughs> but, and so, but the reality is that we, 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 we encourage the woman to do more because this is a woman's time. Right. You're a minority times two. You do know that, right? Okay, so the fact that you're a minority times two, you're using your abilities, you know, and, and, and of course, there's something positive now because I know some people get drawn with the way positive, but from a young woman, do, 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 do people in your age sector hear positive and be like, oh man, is this going to be church? <laughs> no, definitely not. I feel like it's got, at least in my age bracket, like 97, you know, like it's like we just appreciate what's going on now. Hold on, you're, are you a millennial or? I don't, I don't consent, I don't know because what is a millennial, like for real? What is after millennial, what is it? Change something, what is after millennial? Gen Z? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what I am, but I just know that, um, 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 like all the little TikTok kids now, that's not me. It okay. used to be like oh, when Vine was it. At least she confirmed that. God. Right. <laughs> so hold on. In March of 2020, you wasn't doing none of the TikTok oh, videos. Definitely, okay. definitely. But I'm not like. I, I didn't miss out on that. With it and oh, doing all okay. the dances, I'm not active. Oh. I just like to do the funny stuff. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, because yeah. it's transferred to that now. Because now the, the, the dancing kind of calmed down. Yeah. They're just doing all the funny stuff now. Yeah, now okay. more comedic and stuff like that. Skits. Did you, did you notice a big difference now on social media with men trying to go against the woman uh, on, on TikTok? Do you, do you feel that there's like a war between men and women on TikTok? I feel like social media has just made it so everybody's just comfortable behind the screen. Okay. So they could just say whatever they want and not get any repercussions for it because nobody knows who they really are. In person is so true. That is true. You hear that? That is so true because when you see, it's like you could do anything on social media because you come around your camera. Then in real life, you know, you know better than that. Exactly. You wouldn't have said that to my face. No, everybody's bold. Everybody's bold through the internet. Did you have? Did you ever have any situations in high school from any hatred or jealousy from women? Um, or was you loved? Mostly loved. If anybody, it was their own issue that they had towards me. But I'm, I'm not like. You a gotta be secure to say your own issue. So that means that that means they were a whole bunch of insecure bastards. That was a nice way of saying. I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. Okay. So. See, and, that's love. and that shows a lot from your mother. Right. It comes from your your family. Exactly. That's a beautiful thing. Now, in regards to your chair in this in this mode of the, the, the how could this be more appealing to the people you're of your age or younger? You know, I've seen that y'all did some concerts and things in the past. Uh, baseball game, too? We had a softball game. We did a talent show. Um, we're doing this now, the vision board, which I feel like is in right now. You know, like, it's everybody's doing it. Everybody wants to manifest. Y'all put me on to this, by the way. I was going to let you know. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah because I, I heard it, but I didn't really know it until, because before I came, I was like, let me check it out on YouTube a little bit. Then I was like, oh, okay, because I didn't want to come in that totally just not know anything. But y'all, this is the first vision board I'm part, I'm part of. It's like new for 2023. It's manifestations, what you want for your life. Every, everybody was stuck in the house. Everybody was sick, you know, 2020. 2021 so now it's time to really get the ball moving on your life how did you deal with that when you were in the house as far as the, the rough times how did you deal with that it definitely was rough because I was in the middle of my senior year of college so when we went remote it was extremely difficult to you know stay on task um, my mom built a shed in the backyard she's a Besides have a heart, she's a woman of many, many, many things. Yo, shout to, to, to Mika, don't be played. Are you serious? Yeah, she she got, built it? Uh, she shed in the back. She painted it pink. She was in there for a few nights. I went in there, did my classes oh, in there. So, so it was it was ben beneficial. You still was able to have the Wi-Fi connected on? Exactly. Okay, I would have did that. Exactly. She had a sink in there going, a little room for a little bed situation. So it was definitely that very nice. Dope. So y'all y'all made it. Y'all were creative with this. So now, obviously, okay, but did you guys... I forgot to ask one. Was this created in 2020? Was it? I think, yes, it was because during, it was the summer before COVID hit. Yes, because when I seen the softball game, that was three years ago. Yes. And it was raining. Yes. 
Yeah. I mean, y'all was in there still playing. Mm hmm. We was the cheerleaders on the side. It's still on YouTube. There's actually a video on YouTube. Have a heart. And yeah. why softball game versus the water team? Shout out to the water team. Shout out to the water team. I see. I see your lounge. God damn. I, I see you. Boom, 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 boom. I see you, nigga. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, he cracks me up, but it was definitely lit. The softball game, we got, um, we had raffles there. Somebody wanted TV. Somebody won uh, tickets in the coaches section to the Giants game, which they get a whole free buffet. I've been to that a couple times. If you want to see me at that, you can check that out on my YouTube page, Shy's Time. Me and my mom went to a Giants game. Wait, hold on. You got a YouTube channel? I do. It's not active right now. I, I kind of fell off since I'm on the podcast and I'm working and doing all of that. But Shout out to the podcast. Too. It's pretty yeah. dope. I'm wanting good times on YouTube. Well, I, she was a dead when I came into the last show, that was the one with Milk and um. Yeah, no, yeah. I actually had the flu at that time. Yeah, I'm, I'm better now. Just in case yeah, yeah. anybody. Well, I, sh I shared the video on my video, mm -hmm. so I'll share this one later on tonight, so y'all can see. God damn, it was amazing. Yeah. But unfortunately, Shia wasn't there for this particular one. The one that you were there, you were there. It was a crazy topic. You and your mother discussing, but let him let him go check it out. Just yeah. make sure y'all see Fire Wine and Times podcast. Yeah. And we'll, we'll, put, we'll plug the link into the description here. So now, the, the, the main goal is now, we're all going through changes. Yeah. Everybody here is dealing with something. Um, we also expressed my condolences also to your, your family. And, um, you know, but now it's like, even you being a young woman, we're not going to say your age, that's not important to people, but you're young. How do you tend to deal with this now? Did you have this vision board? Is it going to be a big board in your house? Is it going to be a, a small board here? What kind of board are you going to set up for Cheyenne? Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm definitely going to try to manifest my life for the next five years. Like where I want to be in life. Look at this. Even the young people starting to manifest their life. What? Yeah, definitely. Shit, you know what we would do to keep back to our age? We're going. <laughs> No, definitely. I just, I have goals and I have ambitions and I have dreams that I just want to follow. And the world is bigger than Staten Island. So I'm just trying to get out there. I think that's something that every Staten Island needs to understand. The world is bigger than Staten Island. I used to always tell people, I'm a New Yorker first. Right. Here. Okay. I mean, I'm in New York. I probably know your borough better than you know it. <laughs> but the reality is, I do love my borough. I have a special love for Staten Island because. Um, we like the fact that it's kind of off the map to some degree. You know what I mean? I mean, I know y'all want to see somebody get murdered out here in order to, to get on the map, but we cool. You know, we, we, we like our mix. We like the fact that it, the, the Italians run it, but we cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Lord, nobody call us the N word. We all right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's also a thing of, of, of being raised out here all my life and seeing things. Coming from Brooklyn, come out. my father brought us out here because he didn't want us to deal with the craziness with our family over there. So he was actually, <laughs> he was actually on a run when we moved out here. I mean, I'm sorry, Dad, but I just had to put that out there. But <laughs> sorry, Pop. So, so it, it's, it's, it's a love factor, and I'm really, really, really impressed with y'all doing here. I love what y'all doing. We, we, we had a little bit of spice. We didn't want to keep this as the traditional, like, so, tell me, so. None of these tight conversations. We chilling, you know what I'm saying? And believe me, when after I see that bonfire, that's what it was, bonfire. Right, there we go. After I see that bonfire upstairs, I said, all right, so we uh, we valid right now. So just, just what I finish, <laughs> I'll enjoy myself. But it's a beautiful thing here. It's a lot of love. And um, I really love what's happening here because young and older is on the same path. Exactly. Like the, together, yes. Who, is, that, is that your friend there? The girl? The, um, right here? In front okay. of, right behind Tracy. With the black one standing up, yeah. That's actually my cousin's girlfriend. Okay, your cousin's girlfriend. Okay. She came here first. She interviewed first. And she literally was like, listen. Yo. Yo. Like, I was like, are you looking for a co-host here? She's a, so it wasn't just me, right? I was like, she is? Just on interviews. Like, she's just, like, I first met her. We were at um, my brother's video shoot premiere uh, with Jadakiss and... Uh, Yes. Yeah, power, yeah. His uh, fifth power. Sh salute to Shaquan, god damn. To him. <laughs> um, but yeah, I first met her and she was like, you're, you just, she was reading me, like, you're just nice. Like, I could just feel your aura. And I just felt her. Like, she's just a dope individual. She she sat down here and I was like, I didn't even, oh, oh, oh hold on, hold on now. You got to join here, god damn. You ain't gonna just, no, no, come over here. Come over here, Tracy. Don't you dare go too far. Come over here, come over here, sit down, squeeze up in here. 
Matter of fact, now, now that's all. Let's, listen, we we, we just we, we just want to be let it be known that it's amazing. Now, these women here are not involved in just this this incredible extravaganza with Have a Heart in New York. They're also involved in the podcast as well, and um, you know. It's, it's, they, they talk about some real great topics, man. I got damn, but you know, it's, it's, I'm gonna let them tell you their for themselves because you know she has to look. Cause you know, Tracy don't stay in one spot for long. <laughs> That's so true. But you can check Fine Wine and Good Times on YouTube. We are every two weeks at twice a month. You'll see episodes featuring myself, my wonderful co-host here, Shy and Tamika. We have some wonderful guests. We have a good time. Definitely we talk drink about the wine. yes, we drink the good stuff. We you talk about the best stuff. things we <laughs> ate this week. Right. We are like taste makers we let you know where you want to go what you want to do and what you need to be sipping on yes. so tune in and follow us on all social media platforms every other friday yes yes exactly yes i tell you i, I tell you right now um smoke has some amazing things going on here he like to lay low but i'm gonna get him on his camera yeah, I'm gonna go get him now. yeah go get him over here hey smoke oh, hey, hey buddy come over here for a minute yeah so it's a great thing that you know and, and it's great because we see the the, the younger and the older and what, what i like about you you're around, like, it's not just like, oh, we're just going to be with the kids. Well, not, you're not a kid, but you know what I mean. You're there with the age groups and the maturity. You know, I've seen you in there really, you know what I mean? You're you, you able to identify and adapt, and that's just dope. So that same attitude I can see that you're bringing into the foundation as well. And we appreciate this. So listen, hold on, hold on, brother. We, we get sick and tired of this man ducking the camera and all and over and over again. This is this, but he's shy. Hold on, hold on. Listen, don't. Cheyenne's here. Sit, come, come, listen, listen. We live, man. It's a live stream. Sit down. Come over here. Come over here. We, this is a, it's a live stream. We doing live. You want to feel even comfortable? You want Cheyenne to interview you? Want Cheyenne interview this man. We'll right do there. it live. Talk, come on, talk, Smoke. Talk, what do you want me to do? Talk to this man and find out how come you've never been on the camera in your life. Why haven't you been on the camera? Why are you always behind the camera? That's just my personality. I like the. I, I have fun by, behind the scenes. I mean, it's good. Years, like, it's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it is a long time, but I, that's where I'm comfortable. Right. You know, and he's I'm, good at it. You know, I'm. You know, I'm just. I'm. I'm, I'm not photogenic. I'm not that. I'm. I'm good. No, we make it different. We make it different. No, but I'm good though. Yeah, I'm you, good. If like if you was a photogenic, I would have had you on the camera. If I was a personality, then I would be, you know, that 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 was my thing. That was never really my thing. Maybe I was just been shy and bashful my whole life. I, I think shy. Maybe shy it's shy. I shy. Yeah, I it's think shy so. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, so I think no, you know, it, it's a backstory behind that, right? Like I never really was um I don't know, I can't really say. Like I never really I had low self-esteem growing up, and I think it trickled into an adulthood, right? You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm good, though. I'm, I, I learned to navigate in that space, and I mastered that space. I don't have to be... And then, you know, another thing is... is, 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 is um, I don't like people. <laughs> People are disappoint you. You know, they, they put on a different face. You, you know, it's like you get to know them, and then... They change yeah, yeah, up, yeah, 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 yeah. so I'd rather just stay in my space. You still make a so, good example of picking great people. You know what I mean? Because that attitude that you have actually works. Because I mean, y'all all together, so everybody here is on that wave, obviously. So it works. You know, a lot of things like you know, everybody learns to navigate in their own space in life. Like I'm, I'm older, so I, I kind of like experiment and try a few different things. Where I'm comfortable at is like um. It's not really a good space, but it's, it's a safe space for me. It's like zero expectations, zero disappointments. Yeah. So I don't expect nothing. So I'm really never disappointed. I'm good, like, so I'm good, like, you know. So, I, yeah. go ahead. I was going to say, I expect people to be people. You know, I accept people for who they are. And, you know, I'm good, though. You know, like, I, I'm, I don't try to fit in. I'm just a genuine person yeah so like if we mesh we mesh if we don't mesh then i'm i'm good like i listen to my instincts if i if i if i feel somebody's vibe and they're a good person then i'm good with them you know what i mean and if i don't feel your vibe then i'm, I'm over here i'm in the cut like i'm good like you know, stay away from me that's what i'm blessed with i'm really blessed you know god really blessed me with a lot of different senses so where like if i feel somebody's energy 
then I'm 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 locked in with it. Like you know, I'm I'm not like a, um like when I was growing up, when I um was younger, like I'm not I didn't have that uh like. LL Cool J, like you know, you know, you got that pretty boy I thing. I wasn't Flavor Flav either, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I wasn't LL yeah. Cool J. But a lot of times it's like, so you know, I wasn't an athlete. I wasn't any of those popular titles. So you know, nobody really gravitated towards me. So if anybody kind of like liked me, they had to have liked me for me. You know, you did this before her time, but. You, you had um, an ability where you was a trendsetter. And, um, you know, sometimes you have to give people their flowers when they're here. You had that because I seen it. You know what I'm saying? And it's, if I seen it, you had to see it. You probably didn't see it, but I seen it. So others that didn't give you that, those were the ones that was jealous. You understand? Because they're just going to take it and run with it. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel that you, um, you played a big impact on trend setting things that you didn't even realize you did I don't know you know I just was me you know I don't really know you know I, don't, I just he really, he really doesn't know it. yeah no, I just I, I live life like I just I really just want to be around genuine people but I know in this world like if you look at the I, I, you know if you treat life like a mathematical equation right and they say that like you say you know how people be like everybody can't be wrong but that's not true the majority of people, 90% of the people are wrong. Maybe 95%. No, if you want to go into economic and financial, like you got 10%, 10% of the world population, 10% control 90%. So 10% of the people control 90% of the world's wealth. That's an economic fact. That's why they say 10% of the people are billionaires. Right. So that, and they control 90% of the world's wealth. So if that 10% makes a move, the 90% follows. So if you break that down onto a lower scale, can 90% of the people be wrong? You're right. They could be wrong. And that's how I move. So I'm like, all right, everybody, you know, everybody are pretty much followers and they follow the 10%. You know, sometimes we get into it. Right, right, right. They drop a new iPhone. It's only a few people that drop the iPhone. You only got a few phone carriers. But then everybody goes and gets it. You either got an iPhone or Android. So, you know, sometimes we jump into that 90% of it. If you're on a highway and you see, you're on a four-lane highway, right? And you see three lanes clogged. But you see one lane is, is there's nobody in it. There's nobody going, right? And everybody's like, damn, you know, um... There must be construction, there must right, be a dead end, what's going on, on in that lane. Right. But the moment one person goes and starts to go, everybody starts to follow. That is true. That is so true. it's like... That happened to me yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, you know, I, I just move like that with people. So I'm like, you know, I don't know. I say to myself. It is, it is a, an amazing ability because um, I found that as a leader, that is the characteristics of a leader, male or female. I know women don't like the word female no more. They say I don't know. I don't know why yeah. that's a thing. I don't care. I don't understand. Okay, good. As so, long as it's not the B word. See, oh, exactly. Because I, what the hell are you trying to say, female? Uh, you know what exactly. I'm saying? No. <laughs> but but the, the the great thing is, is that it's good when we have leaders that can talk. And, 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 and I, that was a good little analogy that you Definitely. did with that little road situation. I like that because I'm the type of person. I'm the one that usually goes and they follow me. I'm the one that parks the car way away from everybody else. I come out of the gym and everybody parked near the damn car. I'm like, why would you go over there? What would make you do that? Mm -hmm. You see a car, right? That's, I parked way in the corner. Why would you want to just... But again, it's people. You get tested on Fridays. Fridays are the worst day of the week. We just like, yo, y'all still rushing home? Like, just chill. It's good. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's a lot. And I think that 10% is what we... It's hard for me to find people on the 10% level. That's why sometimes when you break things down, they're like, oh, because I'm about this. I'm like, listen, just, just don't worry about it. Just actually speak louder than words because in most cases when you're talking, you're probably at 90%. Mm. And that 90% is an issue with me because, again, that's common. That's common folk. You get exhausted trying to find out who's in the 10% of your world. Like, that's yes. it. You don't want to keep going through it. It's like, it's almost like, um, 
relationships. You don't want to go through all of these different people to find that one person. You know what I mean? So sometimes you be like, ah, you don't want to give up on love. But even men don't want to do this way. You don't even want to have men a million don't want different do women. You know, and, and women don't definitely don't want to have a, a million different men if you're looking for love. Like, because it, it it gets to be exhausting. People. People are not good people, man. It's, it's not a good world. This is a ruthless world, and nobody gives a fuck about nobody. Yeah, and it's true. My mother always draws that a man. She says, everybody's not like you. I didn't understand what that meant until I got older. I'm like, what does that mean? And it's like, the mindset. It's just like, I don't understand if, like, if it's raining outside and you walk outside barefoot and you come back and see your feet are wet, what did you think? So it's like, I, simple arithmetic sometimes, but I guess some... Some people don't have What do you think about that? Some people don't have that common sense. Sometimes I feel like now that I hear you guys explaining it, I can see the difference in between people, like especially the people I'm around, like who would be in the 10% and who would be in the 90%. Definitely. A lot of clarity there. Yes, definitely. And, and you know, sometimes you only have a, a split, like my life was a little bit different, so sometimes you have a split second to fin figure people out. But like I was, I was telling Tracy a while ago, and I always say this, like human beings are the only creatures of God creatures on planet Earth that second guess their gut instinct. Mm -hmm. You know, like you got the gazelle in the wild or the buffalo in the wild. If they get spooked, what do they do? They, they run. Right. What we do, nah, I'm What's bugging. Right. Who's there? You know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, and you know, even with like, you know, firemen, I love firemen, but like they're wired a little bit different because really in nature, you're supposed to run from danger, right. but as human beings, they're running into they run into danger. We run, we run to the fire, you know. And and I, I guess you know we're a little bit different, but that takes a little bit of you running into like danger, you know. Yeah, you watch wildlife. If, if man's supposed to kind of like depict wildlife, if you're into nature, even though we have a brain and we're supposed to differentiate between us and them, but we're all God's creatures, so if we look at them on a survival aspect, like we can learn a lot. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I agree. When you see danger, you're animals supposed to run. Animals. You know what I mean? Ever. <laughs> animals, the animals will have an internet. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you know this. You know, you know this. Social media kind of this ruined the hell out of a lot of us, stuff. Social media. I mean, I love? I, yo, I mean, you know, Cheyenne's age group got it rough, right? So I, this young girl, I heard them talking, and you know what she said? She will not date a guy if she can't Google him. What? If she can't Some Google. people do have that mindset. That sucks. No. That means you you, you want to know about yeah these young girls they want to know they they want to know exactly. Yeah, they're not looking for average Joe. They're looking for millionaire status, Joe, status, status. status quo, oh. all of that. But then what about that the Joe? That's looking for like the young girl who's original, right. you know. What I mean? it's no, cute. you know, mm -hmm. no little lip injections, yeah, none of that. you know, none of BBL. that. BBL, yeah, no, none of that, you know. No natural. It's rough because no, now fake is the new real. Right, right, right. Even though a lot of people, you know, I don't want to bash it, but fake is the new real. It it, it really is. Like, you know, I was listening to a Cardi B interview. And, and I like Cardi B, and because she's real, I like her. with her, with her, you know, with her words as far as that's concerned. And she was like, she didn't want to do any. Me, she said she didn't want to do an interview until she got her body fixed again from her last child. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, what? Yeah, that's what she said. She, it was on television. She was like, um, yeah, I didn't want to do no more interviews until um, until I got my body fixed. I was like, wow, she was open with that. Like, she just came out and oh, said yeah, it. Like, yeah, she, yeah. we know, like, she saw all her surgeries that she had. Yeah, she like, wasn't shy. Yeah, she so that just shows me, like, yeah, that's the that's the end thing now. Like, nobody's before it used to be like you keep it under the carpet. Now it's like, yeah, that's where we're at now. Like six months. For a BBL, that's six months. But before it used to be a secret. Before you get it done, and nobody when it's like, shh, right. you know what I mean. But now it's like. I'm gonna go get it done right. before I do any interview. You'll see them in the airport because they can't walk. Yeah, or sit. Yeah, they gotta get yes. the wheelchairs. Or sit. <laughs> they take can't. all the wheelchairs at I, the airport. How do you feel about that? I, I can't. I can't get it. Um, 
I feel like as a woman, do what you want. You know, if it's there, if you can afford it, then do what you want if it makes you it happy. Makes feel better. Absolutely. Right. I don't think doing it for the wrong reasons is the right, right, right. you know, the right time. If you're happy about it, right, right. If it makes you feel good, that's the truth. Then that's that, yeah. yeah. I'm not opposed to it. I'm just saying, like, if you're young and, you know, young girls, your body is going to change. That's what I say. And if you didn't have any kids, you know what I mean? Like, it's a waste of money if you're looking at it financially, right? Because, you know, say like if you're 21, 22, and you go down there, you get it done because you're not happy with yourself. But then you have a baby. You got to go get it done all over like again. Yeah, like, you know, wait to, wait to maybe after your mommyhood is done and you're ready to settle down. And then if you want to feel good about yourself and get yourself, do it. But I think as a young girl that's still developing... I feel like that's the thing I have because my mom always told me like females go through their certain body types You have your young your teenage then you have like your 30s and then when you have kids and stuff And then it, everything changes everything drops and you just you know you got to fix that So I feel like 20 something year olds doing this now. They don't have no kids you like it's not necessary three years. Exactly like, and it's like at, you can tell and then some people like they'll get the the facial surgeries and then they look old like, you can't even tell, like, you're 24 because you look like you're 57. And you get addicted to that. Exactly. It is addicting. And, and what is the after effect? Ten years down the line, like, what is... What's the end product when you're when you when you're our age or, or you know what I mean or when you're 60 when you're 70? And they were like saying that. it's gonna be a lot of grandmas with BBLs <laughs> in the future. Oh, the, then you look like Joan Rivers and all of that. Like, yeah. God bless them. Yeah. I used to say that with um with um tattoos, right? But that years ago, used to, man, I'm like, your tattoos ain't no big deal anymore now because they already doing BBLs. And I used to be like, well, how you gonna have a tattoo and what happens when you're 75 years old? You got that on your, you know, a woman got it in a way, a wild little place. It's gonna mm -hmm. be a little, you know what I mean, a little different. Mm -hmm. But that's nothing now. Right. <laughs> I, like tattoos, nothing. It happens. Tattoos. But that was the, the alternative before. Now the BBLs that took over in the last, I mean, we're talking what, 70 years? Mm -hmm. Again, like, you know, I'm a person who came up with low self-esteem. So, but like, you know, my body changed as I got older and different things like that. But like, if, 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 yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But as a young child, 13, 14, 15, and you haven't developed and, and you do have low self-esteem, you don't have to, nowadays, pretty much a haircut or a hairdo. So I know the importance of it. But I'm just saying cosmetic surgery is just a, a, a little bit extreme, it is extreme because it's irreversible. And then you, if you're still not fully developed, you know, you know your body-wise, right, it could be right, that a waste of money. That it, you, can't, you just can't duplicate God's work, man. You just can't. You can't. Every, listen, I, I study this. I'll be on a treadmill and I'm looking, I'm like, Cause why? Why? As a man, I'm looking. I'm saying, why? Why do I feel something's off? And I don't ever know it. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So then I look, and I'm like, yeah, yesterday, this girl comes to the gym yesterday. I said, oh, this is about to shut it down. From my peripheral vision, there was four brothers on the on the, um, the treadmill. Then she walked in. She kept looking over to my side. I'm like, you're not supposed to be looking at anybody if you got that, right? Two, two. She was two machines away from me. Then when I when I got off and wiped the machine down, I said I said, oh, she had a BBL there. She had on top of the body. So she was already good. Yeah. So it was almost as if she was acting as if for for what she got, you're not supposed to be looking at anybody. She was paying attention to, to see who was seeing her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on. My no, whole no, thing no, with no, all no. of that that stuff is I know people who I know a girl who got the went and got the BBL or Everything. whatever you call it, right. and then she became a trainer. Like now she's a fitness trainer. But it's like it's not hot, like nah, come on, you can't. You're jipping us. Yeah, because it's not real. <laughs> For yourself, be I, you. Yeah, be definitely, you. definitely. Don't, don't but come out here trying to work me to death as a trainer, and you and ain't even do that shit. Exactly, but. that I understand. So keep that over there. <laughs> you, I, I think there should be some criteria. Like you gotta have been 
train in yourself to in order to train people like to motivate somebody don't be like yo come on five more no you got on the airplane <laughs> that you know that ain't right right <laughs> if you're gonna be a trainer you gotta be a real trainer I don't know but I think right now you know I don't want to bash it right now but I just I just think it's way too far as far as everything is concerned you know, I was reading this article, this girl, she was complaining to the YMCA because she had a little five-year-old sister in the YMCA, and they went to go take a shower, and it was a, a, a um, I don't know the language, it was, it was a guy in there, but it was, it was, a trans woman. Right. It was a trans but he still that had the attachments, Okay. and the five-year-old girl was a little bit, like, taken back, like, what's right. going on? And they went to the desk and complained. And YMCA's policy is, you know, you use the bathroom or the, the dressing room that you identify with. That man or one man identified himself as a woman, but it was a man, but he still had the attachment. That can be a little bit confusing. So I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna have, if you, if, if the, you're gonna have that policy, you gotta have a man, a woman, and then other. Bath, bathroom, right. Yeah, other. So if you identify as upper, you go into the upper. I don't think a little girl should be but that's the subject to that. They would give it though. They would give it back pushback for the other I just thing. I think it's too far. It's, it's too far. You know that's not right. You know. Yeah. I understand as far as kids go. But the establishments nowadays, they're with this. Like they're like yeah, gender whatever, neutral. Yeah, whatever you identify with. But you know, if you got, I got a granddaughter, so it's like. She don't need to be. Yeah, no. That's Kids don't good. understand. They, they don't know what's going on. Everything is extreme. It's, it's way extreme. You, it's extreme. We'll be here all day talking about this. <laughs> and it's sad that it's, it's sad that the, the young people see this. So, take us out here with. Uh, what, what, what is the word of the day you have to say from the the, the young woman perspective in regards to the motive? We, we we clearly are here for representation of having heart. New York, but we're also yes. here for the for representation of knowing that there's so many of us having these things just presented to us. How should we take it? You know, I said, listen, if it makes you feel good, do it. But if you <laughs> any other reason than that, you know, right? I mean, listen, if you could do something like that because you you wanted to, to kill yourself and it made you feel better, knock yourself out. However, am I a fan of it? Well, in my opinion, I definitely believe that. Everybody should just do what makes them happy. Get the surgery. It makes you, happy. you know, if it makes you happy, do what you want. Don't don't do it for other satisfaction because at the end of the day, you die by yourself. So. So let me ask you a question, Sean, real quick. Okay. So you said that everybody should do what makes them happy, but yes. do you think there should be at least at least some type of regulation? All right, so even, you know, smoking cigarettes or smoking anything or drinking alcohol, there's a regulation. 21. Yes. Do you think that should be the same thing with the BBLs, at least a regulation? Well, the girls that are getting them now are in their 20s, so whether you put a regulation on it or not. And then if you put a regulation on it, there are going to be people doing it illegally and dying. So, so I'm saying at least 21, though, but when, you don't think that would be a good age? Or, or all right, say 18. The army, you got to be 18. So okay. say 18. Anything below that, you don't think that would be a little... Definitely, and I don't think anybody should be getting a BBL below 20, maybe 28, but that's just me. Like, if you got kids, you know, do you? Like, I'm just speaking from my experience, right, right, right. But, so... Yeah. I don't know. Just do what you want. And my word, I guess, for this year... Keep it natural. <laughs> it's manifestation because I just want to manifest a whole lot and just speaking it into existence right. do, you, do, you, do, you, do you deal with depression? I used to I, I, um, I'm actually in therapy right now and it's actually helped me and I recommend therapy a lot especially for the black community especially for black it, men I used to knock it yeah. I used to knock it only because I feel that the greatest therapy is to talk mm -hmm. but it works. You, you feel good. I feel like it's good to talk, but it's better to talk to somebody who doesn't know you at all, so they have no biases. I'm gonna get back to the vision board. Mm -hmm. 
I'm, we good? I'm going to get back to the vision board. <laughs> hey, man, you just my did a class as well. Yeah, I'm going to do mine too, but we, yes. We got to make sure moms takes us out of here. Or, Definitely. Um, just get moms over here quick because we have to have her take out. I know some people, uh, therapy is like a stigma behind it. I did graduate with my psychology degree, so I have experience with people who don't really want to open up but I do feel like your life can change like I took a temperament assessment which is like an assessment about your behaviors and I found out why I do things and it's insane how you're just developed by a, a childhood trauma or some shit that you thought you forgot it. I it. and it's like you need to let that out and nobody's gonna know that except for a trained professional exactly so a good listener you said for somebody that doesn't know you Yes, definitely. Because then it's like they don't have any, they can't judge you. you. Yeah, definitely. And you can be honest, I feel like, because they don't know you. What are they going to do? They can't tell nobody it's HIPAA violation, so unless you're trying to kill oh, yourself. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what if a person that gave up? What would you have to say to somebody that gave up? Get your temperament done. And even if you don't want to go to therapy, get your temperament done, just so you can understand why shit happens. Because you're going to be like, damn, I did get mad that one time, and this is why. Ladies and gentlemen, this is more real than it. Tell mom she got to come take this. She got to take us out of here. All right. Janelle, can you get my mom? This is, this is really, and you, so you're still doing that. Yeah. But I actually, um, I saw, like we said, you asked me if I was depressed. I was. Um, my grandmother passed away. It was a lot going on. Yeah, and um, I, it was a chance for me to really express myself because, you know, like in the black community especially, we don't talk. And it's like you're, you're soft if you're a man and you cry. And that's whack to me. So I think mm, it's good. Like black men who do that, that's very good because a lot of black men, they just stop crying. You could be being a little girl, stuff like that. So. Come on now, uh, come on now, come on now. We we got we, we got mother and daughter side by side. Or... All right, I got two minutes. Yeah, yeah I want to do my vision board too. We just closing it out. Yeah, we close we, it we closing it out because we have to. Actually, I have to do a vision board. Yes, we need the men to do the vision. Board. I'm curious to know what's gonna be on yours. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be no pretty deep for the be on mine. Stuff like cars that. and muscles. <laughs> 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 yeah, cause it's well, you know that's that's the thing too. I gotta make sure I don't buy another car this year. That's one thing I gotta put on the visual. Not another to buy, car. not to. Yeah, but um, you know it's um, this is the first year I haven't did a resolution, and I'm happy about that. Um, I haven't did any resolution because health was my main thing. That's my word. I didn't write this. I, I mean, I, I I promise you, I didn't write anything down. So this is gonna be pretty interesting because I really don't even know what I'm gonna put on there, but I do know. Does that make sense? Yeah. But um, yeah, that's it's pretty challenging. That's uh, I'm looking forward to doing this. A lot of um, crafts over there. Explain how it works. It's Tell them how it works for me, so I can. Well, you yeah. pick a magazine. You want me to do? You go ahead. No, you no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> CEO Junior. <laughs> um, so you pick a magazine, and you know you 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 basically cut out what you want for yourself. There's houses. There's planes. There's cars. There's shoes, bags, different things. And if you don't see anything really that you can relate to, you can cut out the letters and place the letters into different words and stuff. Or you can write it. Yes, decorate. We got markers and glue and pens and all that good stuff. Anything? So anything that. I cut out there is what I want. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So what you want to manifest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the markers are there for us to write as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Just to be creative, you know. Just be creative. Let your arts and crafts flow. <laughs> Which I haven't did since the third grade, but God damn. It's therapeutic. I know. It is therapeutic. I, a lot. The ladies are enjoying themselves over there. There are a lot of nice and. Um, um, inspirational vision boards over there that I didn't think of myself. Yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of yeah, it's nice. I like I like this event. This is nice. I tell you, I told your daughter. I said this is just great to see. It's great to see mother and daughter just have a great relationship like this because there's so much of a. I never saw I would see a time where all of us are going through something. So to see this. It's just incredible. The support is just great. You got your son here representing. Yes.
Yeah. Yeah, I think he is doing a vision board. He's doing it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I don't feel that bad. I was gonna do it anyway, though. <laughs> but he's the first guy to do it. No. Smoke is doing one. Smoke's the first one. Yeah, yeah. It's a few gentlemen in here. Yeah. Well, this is a great thing. We are, we are, we appreciate. It. I mean, Cheyenne and Tamika. I mean, it is what it is, man. I, we're gonna do this again. Yes. And uh, yes. just get used to seeing them. I mean, I, that's all I can say. Fine Wine and Good Times podcast on YouTube. All the episodes. Yes, every other all Friday. Them. You are now. The drunken ones. <laughs> the drunken ones. We do drink wine, so come get I'm your gonna, wine I'm, on. I'm gonna pull up with y'all. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna pull up. Oh. Yeah. What's up? Yeah.